Hey guys, so it's been a long time since I've done a video review, movie review of anything, actually. Um, I've just been having a lot of things happening in my personal life. Um, mostly bad things, honestly. Um, but that is what it is. Um, so I figured I'm on vacation, I'm bored. There's a movie review that I would like to do of a movie um, that I didn't know much about, but I thought I'd give it a shot. It's a John Wayne film, um, and it's called The Cowboys. So, before we begin, let's roll the clip, and then we'll get started. The Cowboys. Okay, so this movie is a John Wayne film, and it was made in 1972. And it is basically about this cattle rancher who is getting older. I, I believe at some point in the movie it's stated that he's 60 years old, I think. And the town around him and all the cattlemen who would help, like, herd the cattle across the prairie to go sell it at the destination that they were going to, um, they've all left the town because there was some gold strike nearby. So John Wayne's character, Will Anderson, is basically left with no way to get his cattle across um, to his destination to sell them. And this is how he makes his living. Um, so that's where the term cowboys comes in. He decides, well, maybe I'll give these boys, these schoolboys, a shot at helping me herd my cattle across. You know, what have I to lose at this point? So he gets eight or twelve cowboys, and they go on this journey together. So that's the basic premise of this movie. Um, it was actually a really good movie. I've seen it twice now, maybe three times, and I really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it more on an another viewing. John Wayne gives one of my favorite performances I've seen from him in this film. Um, for those of you who say John Wayne can't act, I would say just watch this movie and you can see that he does actually act. Um, and that he is a pretty decent actor. Not just, you know, an iconic actor, but one who can actually display a great deal of range in his role. Um, it's, got, it's got good action, the story moves along um, at a really good pace. It never really slows down and it never really gets kind of bogged up like a lot of westerns of that time did. Like, from the get-go, this is pretty much just moving along at a good, decent pace. As far as content goes, this is kind of a coming-of-age story, um, where boys become men. And with that, you're gonna come into some negative content. Um, there is s quite a good deal of mild language throughout. Um, there's two uses of blasphemy at one point said by a child. Um, so there's some issues with that. As far as inappropriate content goes, there is a scene where two of the cowboys come across a, um, a traveling... How do I put this in case children are watching? A traveling band of women of irreputable... What's the word? Um, of irreputable um, character, let's put it that way. And nothing happens, but there is some suggestive dialogue that is talked and said during that scene. It's easily skippable, it doesn't hold anything to the plot of the movie. Um, it's only about three, four minutes long, so um, nothing happens, it's just if you're a parent, you might want to skip that if you're watching it with your family. As far as violence goes, 
Yeah, it's a western. There's gonna be violence. I did think that there was a scene or two th where there was threatening of children involved that was somewhat, uh, maybe a little close to over the top. It definitely gets the point across that this bad guy is bad and he will kill you. Like, if you get him upset and you don't follow his rules, he will kill you. So. It is threatening towards children. Um, again, this is kind of spoilerish, but nothing happens to the child. But still, that could um, be an issue for some. So, so yeah, that's pretty much as far as negative content goes. I wouldn't say that it was that terrible. Um, it's just I can't necessarily recommend it for the whole family just because it just was a little too much. Um, as far as positive content goes, now this is new because in most of my reviews I don't talk about positive content, I just hit the negatives. But I really like this movie a lot and I want to talk about the positive content that's involved in this film. The positive content outweighs the negative content in my opinion, and the negative content isn't that bad as I said, but some of the positive content um, is it shows camaraderie. It shows a family, more or less. You know, these boys and this older man who's in his 60s kind of becomes a father figure to them. And they become a family working together to get the cattle across to their destination. Um, it's a story about love. Um, it's a story about... Um, you know, just being a good example and how much young boys and young men rely on older men to set that example. So yeah, I would, I would say check it out. Um, I can't recommend it for the whole family just because, like I said earlier, but I would say check it out. It's a really good movie. John Wayne's performance is excellent. And this is kind of cool. Half the children actors weren't even actors. They were, um, they were like, kids who knew how to ride horses. There's probably a word for that. I don't know what it is. But they, half the kids knew how to ride horses and rope cattle, and the other half of the kids knew how to act, and had never ridden a horse in their life. So what the director did was he said, you guys are going to work together, and you're going to teach each other what you know, and vice versa. So the kids who didn't know how to rope and ride a horse learned from the kids who did. And the kids who didn't know how to act learned from the kids who knew how to act. And it was really impressive because these all the kids in the movie were actually really good. And that's difficult to get in a movie where there's 8 to 12 kids that are acting. Because you're going you're gonna to get some or a lot that can't act. But in this movie, you can't tell the difference between those who were raised actors and those who were raised to be, let's, let's just say, horse riders. So I found that really impressive. And um, it's just overall, it, overall it's a fun movie. Overall it's a really good movie. Um, I say check it out. I would personally give it a rating of an eight or a nine out of 10. Like I think it's gonna make it to my top 10 favorite movie list, which means I'm gonna have to boot something off of that list. Yeah. Now as a film, like how it was made and edited and put together and directed and acted, I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. Like it's actually really good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to edit this together um, and put it up for you guys to enjoy. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I am planning on getting more movie reviews up, but like I said, there's been a lot going on. So, um, yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Aaron, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.